today we're gonna take a deep dive into the battery life of Minecraft Dungeons on the Nintendo Switch. Minecraft Dungeons is of course a dungeon crawler. It's one of the best ones we've had in recent years. Even though it's published by Xbox Game Studios, it did manage to make its way to the Nintendo Switch. It's been successful because it's set in the world of Minecraft, which is one of the most successful series in the last decade. The video split into three parts. First, we'll look at the battery life of Minecraft Dungeons. Then we'll compare those results to that of the original Minecraft game. Minecraft on the Nintendo Switch has one of the best battery lives. So this is definitely going to be an interesting comparison. In the last part, we'll compare the battery life of Minecraft Dungeons to Diablo 3. Since both games are the biggest dungeon crawlers on the Nintendo Switch, it does make sense to compare the two. Before I show you the results, here are the rules of the test. Every game is tested on on all three models of the Nintendo Switch. So that's the Nintendo Switch Lite, the bigger Nintendo Switch version 2, as well as the older Nintendo Switch version 1. And on each console, I use two settings, maximum and minimum. Maximum is with the brightness and sound turned all the way up and making sure you're always connected to Wi-Fi and minimum is with the brightness turned all the way down, sound off and always having airplane mode on. Before I share the results, a word from today's sponsor who is Abox. They sent me something that's actually good for my health and that's this electric powered standing desk converter. If you work or play on your PC for long periods of time like me, you're pretty much sitting down for hours and hours and that's I mean that's not really good for your back. Sitting down for that long does drain my battery so I do like to stand up from time to time and this thing is a lifesaver. It's $200 US or $289 Canadian, you can get it from Amazon. The thing actually comes pretty much assembled in the box. There's a touch button on the side here that electronically adjusts the height anywhere from 15 centimeters to 50 centimeters. The thing's pretty smooth so don't worry about anything falling off. Also it doesn't really make any noise and this thing's definitely going to become a staple on my workstation. If it's something that you want to check out and interests you there's links in the description below. Now what you've all been waiting for, the actual results. Starting with the smaller Nintendo Switch Lite. On this console, Minecraft Dungeon will last 3 hours and 5 minutes at the maximum settings and turning the settings at a minimum will get you 4 hours and 10 minutes. Now the upgraded hardware of the regular Nintendo Switch, that's the version 2. That console will give you 4 hours and 15 minutes of play time at the maximum settings and 5 hours and 29 minutes of play time at the minimum settings. And lastly, the older Nintendo Switch console, if you have that one, you're only going to get 2 hours and 45 minutes at the maximum settings and 3 hours and 2 minutes at the minimum settings. If you're going on a trip, you're running low on battery and you're itching for some Minecraft, is Minecraft Dungeons the best option? Let's find out and compare it to the original Minecraft game on the Nintendo Switch. And here you can see it's not even close. The regular Minecraft game has way, way, way better battery life. If you have a version 2 console with the settings all the way down, you almost get an additional 4 hours with Minecraft. I mean, over 9 hours of battery life, that's one of the best you're going to get on the Nintendo Switch. The visual style of the two games, the graphics are quite similar. So I'm not sure if this has to do with Xbox Game Studios just not optimizing the game enough for the Nintendo Switch. I guess Dungeons being a newer game maybe looks a little bit better. Dungeons also has a lot more action whereas Minecraft is a little bit slower. So maybe a more fair comparison is comparing Minecraft Dungeons to Diablo 3 which is another popular dungeon crawler. And here's how the two dungeon crawlers compare when it comes to battery life. You can see here that Diablo 3 does 
also get better battery life than Minecraft dungeons. Depending on your console, the settings you use, Diablo 3 will last up to 34 minutes longer. Just makes you wonder, could Minecraft dungeon have been optimized a little bit more when it comes to battery life? I mean, maybe. So if you're on a road trip running low on battery life, itching for a dungeon crawler, Diablo 3 is the better option. And with that, I'm pretty much out of battery and that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this content, make sure you hit that like button. And if you wanna see battery life tests, battery life comparisons on the Nintendo Switch, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'll be uploading all kinds of content on all the new and popular games that hit on the Nintendo Switch.